I use the Dynavox to help me communicate to those who might not be able to understand me fully. I do not use it in all conversations, as I prefer that I use my voice that was given to me. Although at times when meeting new people it's better to use my Dynavox. How I use my Dynavox is different from most, as I can't use my hands to operate it. I have to use another part of my body to do so. I have a new type of added technology called eye gaze. It picks up where my eyes are looking. And when I look at it long enough it will click the picture and state the information. Computer age has really opened up a, a larger world for people that might either have some communication uh, issues, some sensory like sight, hearing, sound issues, people with mobility issues that might not be able to leave you know, certain environments. There's just different ways that science and technology continues to open up a world for people with disabilities. I have been a docent at the Museum of Disability History for over six years now. I enjoy working at the museum giving tours, helping keep track of the artifacts, and doing research. Technology has helped a number of people with disabilities. It will continue to help people with disabilities if we keep in mind that you know, technology exists to help man relate to each other and the rest of the world and the rest of the universe as much as it does to, you know, promote uh, the scientific growth or economic growth.